Welcome back to refusing how to under how to put in a gate code. Or sorry, refusing how to understand gate codes. Have you noticed that? No. Like when like so this is a problem in our old neighborhood, and it's ten times worse. Well, it's not ten times worse here because fewer people live in this neighborhood. But there seems to be this generational thing where people over the age of like forty just don't understand gates, like in private communities. Because just in Las Vegas, like, half the communities now are private, or at least ones that you can move into, you know, that you can rent or buy in. And, and you are referring to that they are a gated community, not necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. private. Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, gated community. And and so you get this thing of these, these people, and it, it's just, like, delivery people don't do this. It's always old people who just pull up to the gate, and they just stare at it for, like, ten seconds. And then they start going through the fucking directory. You know the directory that's in like every gate that nobody fucking ever uses? Like you have to scroll through names and like find a name and it dials their number. But like nobody ever registers their name to it. Everyone just tells their guests the gate code. Like, just put in the gate code. Oh, you don't know the gate code? Call your relative and ask them what the gate code is instead of just sitting like blankly waiting 10 minutes scrolling through a directory that doesn't have your relative's name in it because they never registered it because nobody does that you know your relative forgot to give you the gate code or you forgot it and secondly if someone pulls up behind you just pull forward and let them put the gate code in because they know the gate code problem now yeah like why why why, why is are you this, making a, this difficult like and it feels like a staunch refusal to understand a system because like, don't you have to pull into gates all the goddamn time? Like, what is your life that you, this is a new problem to you in the year, you know, current year, 2019, that you need to be, I don't know. Are like, we, it's not like any old people are ever going to hear this rant. I just, are we still saying current year and current year? Yeah, we're still saying current year this year. It goes out next year. Okay. Uh, a future year. Just, just making sure. <laughs> But yeah, it's one of those frustrations. It's like people are intentionally trying to be dumb to just make your life less convenient. Because you're stuck behind them for this two minutes until you like honk at the... Because if you honk, like one of two things aren't going to happen. They're going to dig in their heels stubbornly and be mad that you honked no. at them. Even though you're just offering to let them in. Or two, they'll pull forward and let you in. Which is nice, but like... just. Don't be dumb, old people. Stop it. Like, they're, they're gonna be dumb. Gates have been around for like 20 years. You should have figured this out by now. They haven't changed in decades. Just just learn the gate code or pull up and let the next person put the gate code in. I think they're supposed to be exploding, but they're like broken or something. I don't know. Uh, Glitched. Uh, it's Buff Eagleman. Yeah, it's Buff Eagle Boss. I remember Buff Eagle Boss. Don't you remember Buff Eagle Boss? Why do we say eagle? Oh, because his nose is very bird like. He is but he's bird, very like. buff. Like he's, you can tell he's got dense bones, so he probably can't fly very. He's flightless, Eagleman. He, he drinks bone juice, bone broth. <laughs> bone broth. <laughs> You've seen that in fucking like grocery stores lately. It's the most annoying thing in the world. What, no, I haven't. What? What is? They bone are broth? now marketing bone broth, which is otherwise known as stock. Don't because... you just get that from making the fucking soup or whatever you're making? Okay. There's a difference between broth and stock. Broth okay. is made from the meat. Stock is made from the bones. That is literally it. And they're calling it bone broth. When it is actually... Stock. Okay. Because it's made from the bone. Is that legal? Like, don't the, doesn't that have they're a just being definition? They're being retarded. Like, but are, th are they actually doing something illegal by calling it no. something that it is not? Because in a lot of cases it is. Like, if you call certain foods, foods that they are actually are not, like, there's regulation that that person can face. Okay, hide, run. Run, save your life. You're, you're losing all the lives, but that's okay, because they're shared. Um, oh, okay. You're just going to stand there and explode, I guess. Mm -hmm. Who knows what that looks like on the capture. Oh, he, he melted. All right, well, we got our... We got our oh, okay, bye, Splitter. Thank you, my turtles. Is that, that, that's it? Okay, scene six. Let's defeat the enemy's ninja magic. Not the ninja magic. Not the ninja magic. Right Merit, I think we're going to be able to finish this game. We've only used one out of our three continues, so we have, we have out of number. our 36 stock lives plus whatever we get along the way, we've used, uh, we've still got like 30, no, not 30, 25, and we're, we're halfway through the game. You're doing you're just, good. You're just saying numbers at this point. I think we're more than halfway through the game. This, so, 
So, I don't think I've told you, but there was a period of my life where I played this game obsessively. I would play this game every day, at least once through, and I'd have blisters on my thumbs by the end of it. Like, little air blisters, so they weren't that bad to poke. Mm -hmm. But I'd have the the blists. Those suck. Yeah, yeah, they do. And, uh, but whatever, I had fun. And I... I had this tur this controller that had like a little like arcade knob. Marith, you're standing still. No, I'm not. I'm, you're I'm tactically waiting for the enemy to come to me. <laughs> you're tactically waiting for the enemy to come poke you and wake you up. See, it's because I'm, I've got like less health than you. I'm trying to conserve <laughs> It's because turtles get sleepy around 7 p.m. during recording times. You know, it's not, not the fact that I haven't had like caffeine or you know all those things like oh, that. Oh, you didn't give yourself some caffeine? Why not? We got some Because you're like, I need, you to, I need to conserve all the pipeline punch in the fridge. It's all for me. No, I didn't. Like, I asked I, Jamie I to stock more. I specifically need this many because I, yeah, I, told I, Jamie eat, I eat all the pipeline punch. By the way, pipeline punch is delicious, isn't it? We had extra pipeline um, punch. It's okay. Do you want to go grab a pipeline punch? We can keep recording for hours. Just keep on going. I don't know about except, hours. Except me and Jamie and Amy are going to the beach tomorrow, and then we're going to the fabric district. Or, technically, it's the fabric section of the fa fashion district. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a very merry time. It's going to be good times. We're not going to vlog anything. We're just going to enjoy ourselves. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're just... That and, and we're just scheduled through the roof. Like, Jamie wants to see her aunt because she's only half an hour away from the hotel we're staying in tomorrow night. I'm like, oh boy, let's make our let's make our two day trip even more jam packed. <laughs> Whatever. Something like that. So So? I was gonna say, um, when are you gonna make the trip one day instead of going to LA, you go down to San Diego instead. Uh we were considering it, but since we're going to the you know, we're going to buy fabric, it didn't make sense to drive that far out of the way. And also I like I honestly I, I pulled a bunch of our friends and said, hey, Who's got a good beach that is good to just hang out, maybe do a little bit of swimming in, and is comfortable with? And and Kate pointed out that uh, anything inside Catalina Island has warmer water and less um, lesser waves until you get to like the San Diego area. And it's just San Diego is an hour farther away, even more so away from where we're going the next day. And this is this is not me wanting to go. Like if I were going, I would probably go all the way south and get that warmer water. But we're only going to be in the water for like an hour or two. And like I don't have to crash in the waves. I just want to visit the beach and have a have a relaxing time and enjoy the waves. And, it must be know. nice to have a relaxing time sometimes. <laughs> I don't get to very often, Ameris. No, not not no. like this past like week and a half where it's like John's been complaining, oh, I've been sick for like three weeks. That was not off of work. That was not relaxing. And, and I'm just I'm just constantly sick and I'm just oh, let me just eat all the ice cream we have in the house. Yeah, because my head because strep my throat, throat my throat hurts so much. I need to eat I every piece of ice throat. cream. Oh, it's, ice cream is the only cure for strep throat. <laughs> it's soothing. They don't make like medicine and stuff that you know helps strep well, throat. Well, nobody bought me stuff that helps strep throat, so we didn't have any in the house. What you did you were, want? You weren't like, Amara, hey, can you pick up stuff for strep throat? You're just like, no, I need, Marith, I need more ice cream, please. Give me, give me ice cream. I need all the ice cream they have at the store. <laughs> I mean, you I need did, eat all the uniform. You did make me chicken noodle soup. I need to eat all the drumsticks. I need all the cookies and cream ice cream and leave none for anyone else. Strawberry mochi. Hey, I only had half that carton of cookies and cream, thank you very much. Uh, you had like three quarters of it. <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> Plus these individual Ben and Jerry's because they went on sale. Oh my god, it was so good. My throat feels... Oh, thank you so much. I think I gained oh. five pounds during that. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi, Danger Gates. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Danger Gates. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Plus like, oh man. Oh, I have all this time off from work. Yeah, oh, my life is so stressful. All this time off. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really, uh, really unstressful, so stressful when you're not making sick. money for three days in a two-week period where you would normally be making money. Fuck off. You know, it's not like I have sick days or anything. But, uh, I don't have sick days. Fuck you. Yeah, you do. No, I don't get sick days. Not anymore? None at all? I haven't had sick days in since I worked at Star Trek The Experience. I've had Bullshit. sick days in over 10 days. years. No, I don't get sick days. I'm a union employee, and I work for a casino that hates giving sick days to union employees because they always whine, oh, if we give you guys sick days, then we'll have to give the culinary union employees sick days. I'm like, you mean yeah. the people that handle food for a living? You don't want to give them sick days? And they're like, nope. And I'm like, okay. I mean, that's a terrible reason to not give me sick days. 
because you don't want to give the people that handle food for a living sick days. You want them to just come in and work when they're sick, but whatever. No, why not? Just like, in fact, all tiger, the people. Tiger, can you, like, how do I fight you, Tiger? Just freaking. You gotta anticipate exactly what line he's got. He's got tiger blood. I'm jump kicking him and it's not hurting him. What are you supposed to. Oh, you just, you just hit him as he charges at you? Oh! Oh, well, if I known it was that easy. You're taking beyond, all this damage. You just sit here. Just be on the line with him. Okay. Yeah. Just be on his line and, and just and just hit the, hit the fight button. Oh, I still died. And then he, and then he fire. burned up. The tiger literally burned to death after he died. <laughs> it just caught on fire. Uh, hi, scorpion robots. How do I fight you? You drop kick him. Do you? They seem to counter me when I jump kick them. Yeah, they're 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 countering me. Maybe you hit them from behind, or do they do they change? I think you just I think you just oh you get offline from them and then you get online with them really quick and then you start hitting them. Yeah, yeah I, I solved the scorpion bots. This is so Hooray. cool. Hooray! All right. How far through this level are we? Do you think we're we're, we're probably next through? to the boss like okay. real soon? Yeah, it's, we're we're at we're at the time, but. But it's, like the, also... it's the last last episode of the of the sesh, so we're both like, let's, let's get out of here. Let's but, finish this up. But yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to leave you guys hanging right before a boss fight. Um, are you gonna? We just damage? take damage. Yeah, <laughs> like they're just hiding in the overscan. How did I enjoy this as a kid? Oh yeah, I was gonna say I was so obsessed with this game that I would take it over to like, I'd take it over to my grandparents' house when I would visit. Like I I cart the whole NES at age six and set it up. At every relative's house I would go to, just so I could play this game. Um, in fact, I I think that's how I got my cousin Tiana into video games initially as a kid. She was like four years old, and this was one of the first video games she ever played because we'd be at Grandma and Grandpa's house together, and uh, yeah, play some Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the turtles. It's turtle power. I mean, we've discussed this. <laughs> In you cow. fat ninjas, would you would you like chill? Fat, you're not even hard to beat. You just have way too many hit points. Okay, good. One ninja, one fat ninja exploded. Also, are they one-eyed robot ninjas? I think so. Yeah, one-eyed purple robot ninja dudes. Oh, I'm gonna die again before this fight's over. What's going on, Amareth? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You're the only person I know, <laughs> and I know it's because you have a like a severe medical problem right now, where you've like gained weight, and that's made it harder to breathe, and that's made it harder to sleep, which makes you gain weight, etc. Et and, you, and you're in this cycle, but it is kind of funny. Oh no, these guys just started, and they're gonna be doing this for a while. So, uh, you know what? We're gonna finish this level up. We're gonna leave our nest machine running for a while, a and hopefully it and doesn't, explode. hopefully it doesn't explode while we're gone. So we'll see you all next time on the branch, and we're gonna find the boss. Unless the house burns down, us. Oh, or maybe this uh, this dojo burns down. Who knows? Well, uh, you know or who maybe, knows? Or maybe this you guys know. Time. Next time on the branch.